So you're thinking about moving to the Reno area and you wanna know where things are. Hey everyone, it's David Tully. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a Google Maps tour of the entire city of Reno. After this video, you're gonna have a better understanding of the neighborhoods and where some basic amenities are. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the Reno area and you need some help, just reach out. All right, so first things first on this tour, I wanna to show you this is where downtown Reno is right here on the map. And you can see right here is 80 West, 80 East, 395 North and South. And this big yellow loop, as you can see right here, this is called the McCarran Loop. And if you don't like driving the freeway, this is kind of nice because the McCarran Loop can take you through many parts of Northwest Reno, Southwest Reno, Southeast Reno, and to the Northeast side, which is Sparks. So it's very convenient. Let's get started over here. Just north of downtown Reno is gonna be the University of Nevada at Reno. And uh, right over here to the west of UNR, you're gonna have Rancho San Rafael Dog Park, which is a pretty popular dog park. Highly recommend you check it out if you live in that area. And right over here to the west of UNR is gonna be called West University. This is a very popular neighborhood, and this is also called Old Northwest Reno. So you're obviously gonna have older homes in this area. And if you were to go a little bit west over here, this is gonna be the newer part of Northwest Reno. You're gonna see Kings Row, Las Brisas, 7th Street, Mayan. Uh, this is a very popular area as well. They have good schools, good uh, elementary, middle school, and high schools, Westergaard, Billinghurst, and McQueen. And right over here, you're gonna see right off of Mayan, you have quite a big shopping center. You have Walmart, Kohl's, Safeway. So you have most things you need right here. You take Mayan a little bit further up. You're gonna see a Rayleigh's. There's gonna be a Bullies uh, Bar and Grill. Uh, they have a pretty good happy hour. So there's quite a few things in Northwest Reno. It's very convenient. Uh, I will say if you do live in Northwest Reno or even the Somerset area over here, certain parts of Somerset can be a slightly higher elevation closer to about 4,900 or 4,950 versus Reno being at 4,500. So you're gonna get a little bit more snow and sometimes it can be a little windier. So keep that in mind. But you can take Mayan from McCarran all the way down to Charlins and then it turns into Somerset Parkway, which Somerset Parkway takes you up over here with a ton of roundabouts. This is a community with an HOA and is a golf course community. There's a lot of homes up here. I would say most homes in the Somerset are anywhere from 800, 700 and up. You can certainly find some single family homes that are kind of like townhouses, very close to the town center right over here. And at the town center, you have some restaurants, a really cool clubhouse and pool, which is really nice. And if you were to go a little bit further west, you would hit Del Webb, which is called Sierra Canyon. And this is a 55 and over community. So if you're looking for a nice single family home, I definitely recommend checking out Del Webb in Somerset as there are not too many 55 and over communities in the Reno area. So if you were to take Somerset Parkway all the way back down to the freeway, you would head west on 80 and you would hit Mogul and Verdi. And that's most of the Reno area. So I'm gonna take you back over here to the intersection. This, this over here is called the Spaghetti Bowl, where 80 West, 80 East, and 395 intersect. So 80 East and West and 395 over here is uh, where you're gonna wanna be. And then just north of University of Nevada at Reno uh, is another popular area. Uh, University Park, University Ridge. Uh, this is called the North Area. And you're gonna see a bunch of homes in here, typically built in around 2000, 2010. And then some older homes over here. There's gonna be a handful of uh, townhouses right over here in the Vista Rafael Parkway. And then some older single family homes in this Talus Way as well. All right, so if you were to take 395 North on the right, right off of Par, Par and Dandini, you're gonna see TMCC, which is Truckee Meadows Community College. And then if you were to take the freeway a little bit north, you would hit Panther Valley, which there's not too many homes out there. There's some warehouses, but do keep in mind there is a railroad that runs through it. If you were to take that a little bit further north, you would hit North Valley's High School. And this area right here by Alice Smith Elementary is called Golden Valley. 
Golden Valley doesn't have too much there, but they do have a good amount of newer homes. They have a post office here, a Rayleigh's, Burger King, and some other convenience stores. And if you were to take 395 a little bit further north, you're gonna hit Lemon Valley. And I would say this has the most amenities throughout the North Valleys and the little areas throughout the North Valleys. So as you can see in Lemon Valley, you're gonna have a Smith's grocery store, grocery outlet, big lots. There's gonna be a Walmart right over here. And you can take Lemon Drive down and you're gonna hit Military Road. And there's gonna be a handful of newer communities right up here before you get to Lear. And then if you were to take Lemon Drive to the Northeast, you would get a lot of older homes, some with bigger lots, some are on septic, propane. And then do keep in mind though that Lemon Valley has flooded before. So if uh, you do buy a home in one of these older areas, do your research. And if you were to take 395 North a bit more, you would hit another community called Stead, where they have a handful of com communities and homes throughout the area. And then right here on Stead Boulevard, there's not too much, but you're gonna see some restaurants, fast food, and gas stations. And right over here, right off of Silver Lake Road, there's gonna be a pretty cool uh, water park and splash park for the kids. And then instead, you have a golf course called Sierra Sage, which uh, isn't too big, but it's nice to have. And then right over here in the Moya and Red Rock Boulevard area, you're gonna have a handful of homes that were built in the 90s and 2000s. Uh, smaller single family homes. And then if you were to take 395 North a little bit more past Stead and Red Rock, you're gonna hit a pretty popular community called Cold Springs. Cold Springs has a mixture of manufactured homes and a good amount of single family homes. Uh, most of the single family homes in this area, I'd say were built probably in the 90s or early 2000s. And then there have been a handful of newer homes in Cold Springs being built in the last few years and they still have some brand new homes left I think in the 20 to 30 home range and they are built by lifestyle homes and most of this area is called Woodland Village you can see there's a middle school here elementary school here they do have a little bar and grill I believe somewhere in this community which is pretty decent and then there is going to be a big community over here on the south side of the freeway which they are gonna be building out. And the builders have an idea to create a community like South Meadows and South Reno. So I think it's like a 10 year plan, but there are gonna be a good amount of homes on the south side of 395. So I'm gonna take you back down. So we're gonna go back down 395. Once again, here's 395 and 80 East and West. Kind of gonna be coming down south on the freeway. You're gonna hit GSR, which is a pretty popular casino. I definitely like it. And uh, if you wanna to go to the driving range, they have a pretty cool driving range here. You're gonna take that south a little bit more and just about a few minutes south of GSR, you're gonna hit the Reno Tahoe International Airport. And the really great part about this airport is that it's truly not that far from most places in Reno or Sparks. From where I live in South Reno, it's only about 10 to 13 minutes away. So you're gonna be going down the freeway on 395. You're gonna see the Atlantis uh, Casino over here. And you're gonna hit McCarran again. Pretty much you can get off on McCarran or the Neal Road area. And you're gonna head on over here west, right over here to the Lake Ridge area, which is kind of the southwest part of Reno. And uh, just north of that, kind of closer to the downtown Reno area, right over here off of Virginia is gonna be called Midtown. These are gonna have a lot of older homes that are, some are renovated, some are not, but Midtown is a pretty cool area with a lot of uh, bars and restaurants, which I highly recommend you check out. And we're gonna head back on over here to the Southwest area. And if you were to take McCarran up a little bit further, you're gonna get into the Collin Ranch area, which is a very popular community and a little more expensive as well. I would say most homes are gonna be anywhere from 700 or 800 and up and some of the homes in the Skyline area might be a little bit cheaper, but 89519 and the 89509 zip codes are pretty expensive. So we're gonna head back over here to 395, and you're gonna head down a little bit further south, and right over here on the southeast side, you're gonna hit the Longley area, Rattlesnake Mountain, and this is gonna be called the Mira Loma area. 
right over here, the Mira Loma and Donner Springs homes. You're gonna have some manufactured homes mixed in here and there, but a good amount of single family homes in the area. And if you were to go on the east side of Veterans Parkway, you're gonna see Hidden Valley. They have a, they have a golf course and a, a nice trailhead and walkway as well. The nice thing about Veterans Parkway is you can take that right into South Reno, which right over here, on this side of Veterans Parkway is gonna be Double Diamond. On this side is gonna be Bella Vista Ranch, which is a newer Toll Brothers community. You're gonna have Polakitas, which is fairly new elementary school. And you're gonna take this further south and you're gonna hit Damani Ranch. Damani Ranch is gonna be right over here on the southeast side of Veterans Parkway. Damani Ranch High School. And this is still Damani Ranch as well. And just southeast of Damani Ranch, you're gonna hit Caramella Ranch which most of the homes here are built by Toll Brothers and they're still building some new homes at their 55 and over community. And if you were to take uh, Veterans Parkway a little bit further south, you're gonna hit Curdy Ranch, which is kind of this area. And I would say most of the homes in the Damani Ranch, Curdy Ranch homes, all those homes are typically built in 2000 to about 2010. And there are gonna be a handful of homes built in 2010 to about 2020 as well. And then, like I said, of course, there are brand new and newer homes at Caramella Ranch. You have Brown Elementary here, and then they have a new elementary school being built right here in the middle of Rio Wrangler called J. Wood Raw. And then right here on the other side of Veterans Parkway, you take Carrot down, and this is gonna be Double Diamond, which is also a very popular South Reno community. And the fun thing about South Reno is you have a lot of cool parks. You have Comstock Park, you have Cyan Park, and Damani Ranch Park, which are some of the biggest, I would say. And if you take that further south, you're gonna hit the Virginia Foothills, and there's a good mixture of single family homes, manufactured homes on the other side of Toll Road, and then there's some bigger single family homes in kind of a gold run drive area. And then there are gonna be some newer homes right off of Toll Road that were built in the last couple of years as well. And then you can take Geiger Grade all the way up to Virginia City. And then if you were to take Veterans Parkway up here, you're gonna hit Mount Rose. You're gonna hit Rolling Hills, which is a pretty popular neighborhood, Delina High School, uh, University of Nevada campus in the South Reno area. And then if you go up further over here, you're gonna hit up, Mont you're gonna see Montreux, which is a very upscale and luxurious community and golf course community. This is kind of the Galena area. And then if you go a little bit further up, you're gonna hit the St. James Village area. And then if you take Mount Rose Highway all the way up, you're gonna hit the Mount Rose Ski Resort, which is one of my favorites, because it's only about 25 minutes from my house, which is very convenient. And then we're gonna take you back over here to South Virginia Street, and you're gonna see Arrow Creek Parkway. This is gonna take you all the way up to Arrow Creek, which is also a very popular, gated and luxurious community. And they currently redid their clubhouse and spent over $60 million. It's absolutely insane. And on the other side of Arrow Creek Parkway on Thomas Creek, you're gonna have Saddlehorn, which is uh, an area which is pretty upscale as well. I'd say you're looking at more a million dollars and up and fairly big single family homes. And on the right hand side is called Field Creek. It's also gonna be more upscale um, and luxurious homes in the South Reno area. And then like I said, you have a golf course at Arrow Creek. And just before you get to Arrow Creek, you're gonna have a golf course called Wolf Run Club. So hopefully this has given you a decent idea of what the Reno area looks like. And then Reno is part of Washoe County. And if you were to take Veterans Parkway or McCarran or the freeway, this is the Sparks area. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on a Google Maps tour of the entire city of Reno. And if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the Reno area and you need some help, just reach out.